hold up. Yeah. Oh my god, it came off. That was immediate. Hello, fishing freaks. I'm on my Nemes Nemesis Lake today. Lake Conroe, site of the 2017 Bassmaster Classic. I've got a little time today. I figured I would uh, come out here and try to snatch them. Instead of going to the lake I went to the other day where I was catching them real, real shallow. Same sort of situation here. The only one I caught so far has been on a, uh, a sunfish. I'm sure creature baits and little worms would do just fine. And I'm hoping that there's some big fish moved up shallow. Out here having a little fun and trying to catch a Mondo. Certified Mondo. It's still my goal, my number one fishing goal, is to catch a 13 pound bass. Little guy. He's out away from the brush. Oh, he's peeing, look at that. Look at that little pee, 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 pee. Got to have some bass juice fun with those little ones. Looking for your big sister, baby. Another, as we go farther back here, I'm in the very back of a pocket right now. There's only one reason to come back here. That's to do your spawning business. That one actually ate a little brush hog. I mean, he ate it. Nice little fish. See, baby, not the one I'm looking for, but I like your clues, the clues you're giving. So I'm literally all the way in the back of this creek and there's a little dugout pocket here for uh, these ridiculously rich people that have built their own boat ramp. And they built a sure so they can back in there pleasure boats and whatnot. They've got a little little ditch back here. It kind of makes a nice little calm spawning area. Typically real big fish don't go all the way to the end. They're normally a little bit closer to the main waters, but figured since I was already back here, I might as well go the distance. And I'm just picking out little pieces of brush and cover, anything that looks good that might hold a, a spawning fish or a staging fish, just throwing at it with the little creature and that little sunfish. It looks like a baby bluegill. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a better one. Yes. Come here, Sally. Yeah, baby. There's a good one. In here. Mm. Woo. Now we're getting better. That tail is beat up, guys. See that tail? That tail is beat up. This fish is spawning. Hasn't dropped its eggs yet. It still looks fat. This has got to be the female. Just look at that. Look at that tail. See, they use their tails to dig out those beds and then get these sores and they start bleeding so you can absolutely tell that is a spawning fish all the way back here in this creek i'm gonna let it go so we can get back to doing its thing thank you baby enjoyed that that was actually right under this this person's dock back here the fish i guess was using the the posts as cover and they made a little bed down there february guys we're mid-february and they're spawning it's that full moon and just does it. Just makes them do it. Well, just got a bite. Oh my gosh, what a terrible cast. Oh, that fish definitely ain't gonna bite again. Unless it's an angry bed fish. There he is. <laughs> Can't see the fish, but I just got two bites in the same little Oh my gosh, bit my hook out. Tell you what, let's go with 
the bluegill. Got a much stouter hook on here. That'll hold up. Got it. Oh my God, it came off. That was immediate. Did not like that bluegill in there. The old spawned out fish looks like maybe, I don't know. There's one underneath these docks. Back here, just like uh, just like that other fish that I had. Guys, look at that hook. The hook is bent out. I gotta put a different hook on here. It's better for these bigger boss that we have in Lake Conroe. Going back to this fish right here that bit me earlier. I'm gonna see if it's gonna bite again. I don't think I stuck it. I think it just had it in its mouth. It was moving, but I don't think I stuck him. Sometimes you only get one chance. There he goes. That's a little one. Ooh, man. Back the creek, tasty docks. <laughs> right in that corner. Oh man, he was pegged. Got him on that good hook. No bloody tail, he's chunky. As soon as I hit that corner, all the way back here. Only one little one in the back of this pocket. I don't know what to do now. It seems like the fish are getting smaller. I don't want that. This lake is really split up into like traditional, you know, bank fishing, and then you got all this dock nonsense. I'm just gonna start running, whatever pops into my brain, I'm just gonna go in there and start fishing. There's one. Oh man, look at this spotted fish. Uh, still a small one though. Look at that crazy bass though. You guys ever seen one with that many spots? Like that's, that's super wild. I don't think I've ever caught one that has that many spots. It's all over his face and everything. That is wild right there. Well, that was cool, I'll let you go. So when I'm in a creek and the water's 60 degrees and I'm trying to think, where are the bass gonna spawn? I'm looking for little housing areas, like little breaks in the water, places that are gonna not be choppy when waves are coming through, where there's maybe some brush, some cover to provide a little bit of shade. They still like a little bit of sun when they're spawning, but you see like this area over here, that area is a nice little breakaway from the rest of this open part of the creek. You just try to identify those little areas and then throw to those. But it's not a huge wave of spawning activity right now. If this were March, I would be all over that. But I'm also trying to hit these docks like leading in to the creeks just because I think there might be some fish still staging. So I'm kind of starting at, you know, halfway into the creek and then just working the way through. This lake always eludes me. I cannot get the big ones. I know they're in here. It's like four pounds is the biggest I can get. I'm gonna keep casting them.
there's another one. Little guy, gosh. Dang. And this one has really got some funky stuff going on. I don't know what the crap's going on back here, but these fish are all jacked up. Look at all the fungus on this fish. I mean, that's a post-spawn fish all day. Look at his, you can see the, uh, the rays, the spines on his dorsal fin are like exposed. Ooh, feel sorry for that little guy. Two really interesting bass right there. That first one that has the spots, that's usually a sign of a very healthy fishery and there's nothing wrong with the fish. They just get, it's like freckles. I've caught a lot of bass that have them, but never one that has that many. And that fish right there, sometimes you'll see that after the spawn because their immune system's down. There's all sorts of bacteria that's in the water and they can really get a lot of these bacteria that are living in the water on their skin. That's why it's important, especially during the spawn, not to roll them all over your carpet because they'll lose their slime coat. They'll become susceptible to all that uh, bacteria in the water. So that one was post-spawn. That already had a nasty tail. He was in bad shape, so we let him back. Hoping to end the day on a big one or something here. Got this nice, beautiful sun going down. I've run into the same creek I started in. Eh, smallest one of the day, maybe. Little fat chunk. Uh, it's not the one we're looking for. Oh, that's a better one. Oh. Come here, baby. Running. Oh. Not quite a giant. But a good thick bass. Look at that. Just fat and healthy. Caught that one on another little uh, little creature bait, a little D-bomb. That's a pretty fish right there. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna end it right there, guys. We're gonna take it to the house. If you're a newcomer to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. We do this all the time. We have some fun. And if you've been around here a while, thanks for being a fishing freak and, and tuning in, guys. We're gonna let this guy go. And we're gonna continue our quest for big bass in the pre-spawn. We'll catch you on the next adventure.